Good morning. I'd like to thank everybody for attending today. I am Detective Constable Phil Campbell from the Toronto Police Sex Crimes Unit. We are currently investigating a series of known sexual assaults. They are dated as early as May 8, 2011 and as late as July 31, 2011. Beside me are two photo posters with photos which were previously released by the Toronto Police. The photo to my left is from an incident dated Sunday, May 8, 2011. This is the first offence. The photo to my right is from an incident dated Monday, July the 11th, 2011. This is one of the uh, third offences, both occurring in the Young and Finch area. The sexual assaults are similar in nature and involve young female Asians aged 20 to 39. They're walking alone. They're approached from behind by the suspect and sexually assaulted. The majority of the occurrences occur within the Young Street and Finch area and surrounding areas. However, some has, have happened outside of that area. The suspect in this matter is described as male Asian between the ages of 20 and 30, uh, short black hair, and in some cases he's been described as having short spiky hair. Uh, the clothing description is varied. He uh, has been described as wearing a t-shirt to hoodies to shorts and blue jeans. Uh, we believe the incidents involve the same attacker. I'm here to further alert the public to these offenses and promote safety. I'm also here to make a plea to the public. We require the assistance of the public to identify these, this person. The photos and video footage are available for viewing on the Toronto Police website, www.torontopolice.on.ca. If anyone has any information, we want to hear about it. You can call the Toronto Police Sex Crimes Unit at 416-808-7474, or you can call anonymously at Crime Stoppers at 416-222-TIPS. At this time, I will answer any questions. How many attacks have there been and uh, how many victims? Right now, we're investigating six occurrences, so six different victims. And why come forward now as opposed to last month or month? Well, we've uh, been releasing this information to the media as we've um, conducted our investigations. We're here today to further make a plea to the public. We want to identify this guy. The video where did that come from? How did you get it? That was from a, um, a private building exiting the TTC at Young and Finch. That, too, was released... Uh, on July the 11th. During, in the uh, news release you sent out for, uh, for this news conference today, there were a number of previous releases. Do you believe this same man is responsible for all of those attacks, including the one near Shepard and Don Mills? Well, that's something we're investigating right now, and we believe the same person may be responsible for those attacks. Is it all in the, how close an area are the attacks happening, the six that you're considering this might be a suspect. Well, four, uh, are you referring to a geographic location? Or? Yes, geographic. Well, the four happen around Young and Finch, all within a couple of blocks. Uh, one is uh, a further uh, bit west on Finch, west of Young, and one is at Don Mills and Finch area. This is all outside? Yes. Is all the victims to Chinese? Uh, five out of the six victims right now are Asian descent. Talk about the scale of the attacks. Uh, yeah, have they have they been getting worse, or have they all been along the same lines? Each one. Of them? All I can say right now is sexual assaults are all violent. Um, it's something that we're investigating right now, and again, we uh, we're doing everything we can to identify this guy. Again, we can't uh, surmise that. I'm, I'm not sure where this individual lives. Can you tell us about the most recent attack? The latest one was dated uh, July, give me a moment. Is it possible to get all the locations or exact locations and all the dates? Uh, the previous releases will indicate some of those dates and locations. Uh, the last occurrence was last uh, Monday, I believe. I don't have the file in front of me. Um, I can't give you the exact date. It was released to the uh, media. Um, it was a young female Asian walking alone, and she was uh, approached from behind and attacked. Can, can you talk about some of the injuries that uh, the victims have? Uh, right now, none of the victims have required medical attention. But again, it's part of our investigation and uh, is something we're investigating. Or 
there's been a variety of times when this has happened, uh, from early as 4.30 to 1.30 in the morning. Well, that's part of our, uh, our goal today is to promote public safety and hopefully, again, uh, generate some information on these individuals or this, so, these photos. So what's the message to, to women in that area? Uh, the message is, is uh, if you have any information, we'd like to hear about it. Um, we're willing to uh, take any phone calls at any time and that uh, the numbers I provided earlier in this uh, release. Do you have any information or anything else on this suspect? Does he go a certain way? Is he seeing any of the victims? Uh, that's part of our investigation right now. Um, of course, we've released these photos, and hopefully we can generate some more interest. You were saying the timeline went from 4.30 in the afternoon to 1.30. Were some of these, how many attacks are, are at night? Uh, there's one for at the 1.30 in the morning range. The rest are between 4.30 and the latest is 9.30. So within daylight. So these are, again, these are daylight attacks. Is that, this, guy is, this guy is not... Uh, not working in the shadows, he's, he's doing this out in the open. Well, based on what's been uh, described to us, uh, part of that is correct. Do a lot of these involve, you know, uh, going off into, into alleyways, or is this on the street? Uh, on some occasions, uh, two of the victims have been approached uh, out of public view. He's been identified as a person of interest and by the victim. So he's a person of interest? Correct. Uh, that's part of our investigation right now, but it, right now it's believed that the victim doesn't, the victims don't know the, uh, the attacker. I just want to clarify, you said that one of the victims ID'd him in the surveillance footage. Correct. And what led you to the, that surveillance bit? Did that, uh, was that outside, he's walking outside the TTC station, is that what you said? Uh, yes, that was uh, leaving one of the TTC, uh, that, was, what, that incident was leaving the TTC uh, subway. That was at Young and Finch. And that was around the time of one of the attacks? Uh, correct. And which attack was that one? That would have been the third one in these series. So, Detective, now is there, is there sort of a fear? Because, you know, we've seen patterns like this with previous cases. Um, is there a fear of this escalating, and how far? Uh, there's always a fear that this is going to escalate. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this is part of the reason why we're here today. We want to promote that public awareness and safety. And again, we want to identify the guy in these photos.